I'm Daniel Berlant in the Cal Fire Information Center with the fire situation report for Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. Firefighters are continuing to make real good progress on nearly two dozen major wildfires that are still burning in California. In fact, on a number of the fires, there has been very little to no growth, and that has allowed firefighters to continue their efforts towards containment. And as we look here, we'll talk about some of those large ones. First, we'll start in the Bay Area, the, the Lightning Siege complexes. First, the LNU Lightning Complex has burned 375,000 acres. Uh, there has been no growth within the perimeter uh, for the last 24 hours. Containment now is at 76%. This is a 7% increase from yesterday morning. So real good progress being made there. A number of evacuations have been lifted uh, as of yesterday. On the SCU Lightning Complex, 390,000 acres uh, have burned. It is 72% contained. We did see a little growth over the last day. In fact, another 1,400 acres uh, did burn, but containment is up another 2%. So progress being made on that fire as well. And then over in the Santa Cruz Mountains, the CZU Lightning Complex uh, has burned over 85,000 acres. Uh, a little bit of growth in the past 24 hours, almost 250 additional acreage, uh, but containment on this fire is up 3% bringing it to 46% containment. On this fire, too, uh, many evacuations have been lifted, though there are still some evacuations, especially in this inner portion, Bonnie Dune area, where the fire has kind of burned around uh, the communities there. So there are still some evacuations in effect uh, in CZU. Uh, going down to the fires burning south of Salinas, the river fire is holding at 48,000 acres, uh, no growth uh, in the past 24 hours. However, containment is uh, up 1%, holding now at 97% contained. And then down uh, below it is the Carmel fire. Uh, 6,900 acres have burned there, uh, and that fire is now 98% contained, so holding at 98% uh, contained. A couple of the other large uh, complexes burning in Northern California. Uh, first, we have uh, the uh, Butte zone of the TGU BTU Lightning Complex. Uh, that uh, zone had uh, no growth in the last 24 hours and right now is still holding up just under 2,800 acres and 80% contained. Uh, just to the east of it is the Tehama Glen zone of the BTU TGU uh, Lightning Complex. Uh, that fire has now burned over 6,100 acres. There was some growth on that series of fires. In fact, 1,500 acres uh, did burn uh, in the past 24 hours. Containment is at 40% uh, contained. And then uh, lastly, uh, up in uh, the Plumas County area near uh, Susanville is the Sheep Fire. Uh, Cal Fire and the U.S. Forest Service are in unified command on that fire. Uh, 2,900 acres have burned there. It is 71% contained, so firefighters making uh, very good progress on that fire as well. And so as you can see from these fires uh, and as we talk about the increases in containment, there are still a, a lot of progress. Uh, there's still a lot of progress that is being made on these fires, but you can just see from this map alone, uh, you know, how much work is left to be done. Right now, 21 major complexes burning. That includes two fires that we weren't reporting on yesterday, uh, but uh, just to give you an, uh, an update on those fires, one is burning in Mono County. This is the Slink Fire. Uh, uh, the U.S. Forest Service is battling this fire just west of Colville. Uh, we have a link on our website if you want additional information on that fire. And then up in Trinity County, uh, right here, this is burning north of Helena. Uh, this is the Hobo Fire. Uh, so these two U.S. Forest Service fires we've added to our list. That's what brought us now to 21 major fires. Now, uh, in the past 24 hours, firefighters have responded to 33 new fires within Cal Fire's jurisdiction. So still a busy day yesterday for crews, but they were able to contain all of those fires, allowing us to continue to focus on the large fires uh, that are continuing to burn. Let's talk a little bit about our weather. First, we are expecting very hot temperatures for this Labor Day weekend. Excess heat in a number of areas. You can see our temperatures uh, throughout the week will continue to grow. This is just a snapshot of Northern California, but you can see as we get into the weekend, it gets hotter and hotter. Uh, let's talk about the very high heat risk. In fact, we have seen, we're now seeing more magenta on the map. That's where there is a very high risk uh, for everybody, not just those who are sensitive to heat, uh, but then really red uh, for high risk for much of the population. Orange is for those who are sensitive to heat. So it is going to be a very hot 
uh, Labor Day weekend. Here's a look from the National Weather Service of temperatures in Southern California. You can see a lot of areas hitting over 115 degrees in Palm Springs, so the desert is going to be extremely hot. But even along the coast, Orange County, 99 degrees in Irvine, 111 in Santa Clarita, 112 in San Bernardino, uh, Los Angeles South hitting 100 degrees. So it is going to be a very hot weekend. Let's talk about the forecast, though, for September. Now that we are in September, we are going to see an increase in the significant fire potential throughout much of California. You can see from this map, this is the the uh, California Oregon border and for almost all of Northern California all the way through the Bay Area we are going to be at an above normal potential for significant fires. This means that it's not going to take much for a fire that ignites to quickly become a large and damaging fire. The same can be said for much of Southern California along uh, the Sierra mountain range uh, down through uh, around the Central Valley. Uh, the Central Coast all the way down through the South Coast and down into San Diego and uh, inland quite a bit. This again is for above normal potential. That means to us that when a wildfire breaks out we will have to continue to have an aggressive attack but it's also a reminder for the public for you to help us if you live in any area in California but especially in these areas that are highlighted in the above normal red. Please do your part to prevent sparking uh, a wildfire. Now Many of the fires that are currently burning have hit the record books, uh, not only uh, as far as the largest, most destructive, but also the deadliest. Here's an image of the largest wildfires in California. These three fires in red are burning right now. These are three of the complex fires, again, a group of fires that have hit the top 20 largest fires in California. The SCU Lightning Complex is the second largest fire in our state's history. LNU Lightning Complex coming in right behind at third. And then down here at eighth is the uh, August Complex, which is battling, uh, being battled by the U.S. Forest Service on the Mendocino National Forest. So three fires making the top 20 largest list. Most destructive, two of these complexes have hit that list. Uh, the CZU uh, August Lightning Complex is now the ninth most destructive wildfire, and the LNU Lightning Complex uh, continues to remain at the 10th most destructive. So two fires hitting our top 20, uh, and actually really in the top 10 of most destructive wildfires in our state's history. As far as deadliest go, the LNU Lightning Complex uh, remains in the, the 19th spot for the most deadliest. Five people, of course, have died there on that fire. So, a, a, again, damaging, large, and deadly uh, month here in California. And just to put in a perspective as far as uh, our, our destructive fires and how more recently we have seen more destruction, 10 of the top 20 uh, most destructive fires have occurred since 2017. The North Bay fires, the Camp Fire, and these series of complexes all are, are making the record books in a way that we uh, obviously do not like. Continued efforts in defensible space and looking at ways to increase our building standards and build homes to a higher standard to withstand embers will continue to be a focus so that we can bring down this destructive uh, trend that we have been under. We'll end with this. Uh, firefighters now from across the uh, world are assisting us on these fires. We've talked about uh, the nearly 100 fire engines that were sent from our western states uh, to assist us. Uh, but now a group of firefighters from the uh, country of Israel have flown to California. These are specialized firefighters uh, in a climate that's very similar to California uh, who are here. Uh, they were touring, getting a operational briefing on uh, our uh, wildfires here in California and they'll be hitting the front lines uh, for the next couple of weeks to help us in these fires. Again, uh, Israel and California both experience uh, wildfires and so uh, being able to lend their expertise uh, obviously is going to be a huge help that in combination with uh, the thousands of firefighters from local partners, the National Guard, uh, and of course our normal fire departments, the Forest Service, CAL FIRE, who are on the front lines. As of today, uh, there are uh, over 14,000 firefighters still battling uh, these wildfires. So we thank our friends from Israel who are here to help us for the next couple of weeks. Now, as we move into the holiday weekend, please remember, continue to do your part to learn how you can prevent a wildfire and prepare for it at readyforwildfire.org. That's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Daniel Berlant. Have a fire safe day.